when we learn about these cellular oddities and your stereotypical cell, how can that knowledge be used to make a big issue such as, as an example, health care more cheaper and improve quality of life for people? This is sort of like the new frontier of biology, I think, and really exciting when it comes to health care. Um, I think you've heard of like personalized medicine. Like if you had breast cancer, you know, a number of years ago, everybody got the same medication, mm -hmm. right? And now we know that uh, it's like 20 to 25% of women with breast cancer have more of this particular protein. Mm. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's called the HER, like HER2 <laughs> protein. The thing with this protein though is it actually promotes tumor growth. And it's only 20 to 25% of breast cancer patients that mm -hmm. make too much of this stuff. So if they can look at the proteins in, in the patient and say, okay, you're one of that, you're in that 20, 25%, they can administer a drug that will inhibit the production of that protein. I see. Which will then slow down the tumor growth. Obviously that's gonna be like a better choice for that person. And then the other side of it is the financial side. Mm -hmm. So it's, it is still expensive to test genes and to test for proteins and stuff, but it's also expensive to give people a treatment that's not the right choice for them. Mm 